how many number of 2H21 multiplexers are required to design 128H21 multiplexer? Friends, you can pause my video here, take your time and let me know if you are able to calculate the number. Otherwise, I will let you know its answer. Friends, to know the answer of the question, let us try to see the more simpler case. Let us try to see how many 2H21 multiplexers are required to implement 8H21 multiplexer. So this is the symbol of 8H21 multiplexer. It has 8 input lines, 3 select lines and 1 output. So as we know it has 8 input lines. So that means we require 4 2H21 multiplexers to receive each input. So IN0 and IN1 are applied to first 2H21 multiplexer. IN2 and IN3 are applied to the second 2H21 multiplexer. Similarly, IN4 and IN5 are applied to the third 2H21 multiplexer. IN6 and IN7 are applied to the fourth 2H21 multiplexer. So that means if you divide the number of total inputs by 2 and whatever number comes, that number represents total number of 2H21 multiplexer required at the first stage. Now at the output of this first stage, we are getting four signals. So that means we require two 2H21 multiplexers to receive these four inputs. So that means if we divide the output signals, output of first stage by two and whatever number comes is the number of 2H21 multiplexers at the second stage. Similarly, the output of the second stage if we divide it by 2 and whatever number we get will be the 2H21 multiplexer on the third stage. Now add up all the values 4 plus 2 plus 1 it becomes 7. So that means we require 7 number of 2H21 multiplexers for implementation of 8H21 multiplexer. Now let us try to see our original question. So in our original question we need to find out 2H21 multiplexers to design 128H21 multiplexer. So this is the symbol of uh, 128 down to 1 multiplexer. It has 128 input lines, 7 select lines and 1 output signal. So as we discussed in the previous example, so we need to divide the total number of input lines by 2. So total number of input lines are 128 divided by 2. So 64 2H21 multiplexers will be required at the first stage. Now divide this 64 by 2. It will become 32. So that means 32 2H21 multiplexers will be required at the second stage. Now divide this 32 by 2 and it will become 16. That means 16 2H21 multiplexers are required at the third stage. Similarly, divide this 16 by 2, it will become 8. So, 8 number of 2H21 multiplexers are required at the fourth stage. Divide this 8 by 2, it will become 4. So, 4 number of 2H21 multiplexers are required at the fifth stage. Divide this 4 by 2, it will be 2. That means 2 number of 2H21 multiplexers will be required at the sixth stage. And at the last stage, divide this 2 by 2, it will become 1. So 1 2H21 multiplexer will be required at the last stage. Now add up all these values. 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1. That will give you the total number of 2H21 multiplexers required to design 128H21 multiplexer. And the count is 127. Friends, now I am going to tell you something very amazing and something to remember. So in the previous example, we implemented 8H21 multiplexer and it required total number of 7 2H21 multiplexers. So that means 8 minus 1, 7. Now in this example, we are going to implement 128H21 multiplexer and we require 127 number of 2H21 multiplexers, one less than this 128. So this is the general formula friends, in future if anyone asks you, for example if someone asks you, 
that how many 2H21 multiplexer will be used to implement 256 down to 1 multiplex. You can easily tell that 256 minus 1, 255 2H21 2 multiplexers. In short, we can say that total number of 2H21 multiplexers required to implement any higher level multiplexer will be equal to 1 less than the total number of inputs to the higher level of multiplexer. For example, in our case, the multiplexer was 128H21, so 128 are the input lines. So subtract it by 1, so it will become 127. 127 multiplexers are required in our design. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring the notification bell to stay updated on our latest content. Your support means a lot to us.